So example 1e, we have 3x over 4 minus 2x, and we want to find the derivative using the Newton quotient. So the Newton quotient is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h, that plus h is just a little bump, minus f of x. So we have those two coordinates just really close together, and we're going to let those coordinates come even closer together. Okay, then we're going to let the delta, the h go to 0. So for e, it's going to look like this. f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. Okay, oops, I'm going to just erase that. As h approaches 0, and the f of x plus h, we're going to put x plus h into the x, so I'm going to end up with 3 bracket x plus h over 4 minus 2 times x plus h. Okay, and then we're going to subtract our f of x. And so f of x is just going to be the 3x over 4 minus 2x. And that's going to be all over the h. Okay, so when we have this fraction, the, this fraction, we need to subtract this fraction. So we need to get a common denominator. So I'm going to write this over here, limit as h approaches 0. And we're going to, first of all, put the 1 over h over here to make it a little bit easier to deal with. We don't have a three-layer fraction. And we're going to get a common denominator, and the common denominator is going to look like this. It's going to be 4 minus 2, and I'm going to expand those brackets, to neg minus 2x minus 2h, and then it's going to be 4 minus 2x. So there's my common denominator. And then I need to multiply the 3. I'm going to expand those back as well. 3 plus 3h. And that's going to multiply with the other denominator, 4 minus 2x. And then minus, we're going to end up with 3x times the other denominator, which is 4 minus 2x minus 2h. Okay, so I just need to expand those brackets and then combine like terms. And I'm going to expect to generate an h factor which will cancel with that divide by h. So I'm going to end up with as h goes to 0. I'm going to put that factor h in the denominator. And we end up with our 4 minus 2x minus 2h, and then 4 minus 2x is my denominator. And then expanding out those brackets, I'm going to end up with 12x minus 6x squared, and then I'm going to do 3h times 4, so plus 12h minus 6xh minus, and then I should really put this in brackets so I don't, uh, well, I, I'm going to actually, when I distribute this, I'm just going to make sure that when I distribute, I'm going to multiply with that minus 3x. So I'm going to end up with minus 12x, and then I'm going to multiply here. This becomes minus minus or plus 6x squared. And then I'm going to multiply with that negative onto the negative, so it becomes plus again, 6xh. Okay, so I want to make note here that, notice that my x terms cancel out, so plus 12x minus 12x minus 6x squared plus 6x squared plus 6xh plus 6xh. Okay, those all cancel out, and I'm just left with a 12h. So I'm going to write my limit 
as h approaches 0. I've got 12h in the numerator. In the denominator, I have that h. Well, I know those are going to cancel out. And then what's left is my denominator. I've got 4 minus 2x minus 2h. 4 minus 2x. Okay, since the h's cancel out, I can substitute in my h. I'm just going to write one more step here. Limit as h approaches 0. 12 in the numerator. I've got no more divide by h. Okay, that's what I want to get rid of. So I have 4 minus 2x minus 2h. 4 minus 2x. When I plug in h is 0, this term becomes 0. So I end up with 12 over, and I end up with 4 minus 2x times 4 minus 2x, or 4 minus 2x squared. So there's my derivative. Now, since there is a common factor here, I should probably factor that extra 2 out. So although this is my solution here, I can simplify that solution. So I'm going to end up with 12 over. Twelve over, and I'm going to factor the two out. So I'm going to end up with two and two minus x. Now be careful because the two is factored out of the brackets, but I still have to square it. So that's going to end up being two squared. So this becomes twelve over four, and then x minus two. So 2 minus x squared, and this simplifies to 3 over 2 minus x squared. Okay, and that matches my answer down here of E.